Hello and welcome to the course of Computer Engineering Part 2 and in this particular lecture we are going to discuss about uh, one of the uh, multiple access protocols present at data layer and its name is slotted aloha and uh, we need we have some assumptions uh, before understanding and before going to before going to implement this particular uh, protocol uh, those those assumptions are first of all the first assumption is uh, same as uh, we have in our pure aloha case that all the frames uh, are of equal size all frames same size the second and important uh, assumption of this particular uh, protocol is at it, it, its name says slotted aloha that means uh, time x is, is divided into uh, equal uh, size of time sl uh, slots and uh, that time slot is equals to the time to transmit one frame so in simple language uh, time uh, access is divided into uh, equal size slots and one slot size is uh, time to transmit one frame unlike um, pure aloha it, it's a very important point uh, which is gonna improve its efficiency that your time access is divided into time slots uh, the third thing is nodes start to transmit only at the beginning of the time slot N no node can uh, start transmitting its its frame in the middle of the time slot whenever your time slot begins then only a node in a network can start sending its frame again it's it's uh, it's the third assumption which you need to uh, incur and the fourth one is nodes are synchronized it's it's quite obvious and the fifth one is if two or more nodes uh, transmit in the same time slot all nodes detect collision and uh, in the operational part it says when a node obtains a fresh frame it, it start uh, transmitting that particular frame uh, in, in at, at, at the beginning of the time slot if no collision node can send new frame in the next time slot if collision node retransmits uh, frame in each subsequent slot with probability p until it gets the uh, successful transmission so it's very simple just like uh, your pure aloha we discussed in the last lecture whenever a node has a frame to transmit it transmits that frame at the beginning of the time slot at the beginning of the uh, coming uh, time slot if uh, there is no collision then it's a successful transmission if there's collision then you have to keep on sending that that particular frame uh, with the probability p after waiting um, some time in the coming time slots at the start but you need to make sure that you sense your frame uh, at the start of the time slot so that is how um, slotted hello aloha is gonna work let's let's uh, check out it's working how it's how uh, this particular protocol works so in this particular diagram uh, the time axis which is shown at the bottom is divided into equal time slots and the size of this particular time slot is equals to time to transmit one frame so time to transmit one frame as you can see size of a frame is equals to the time to transmit one frame so uh, in this particular uh, diagram at the starting of this particular time slot 
all the nodes present in this network node 1 node 3 uh, node 2 and node 3 uh, all have uh, frames to send and they all are overlapped with each other and uh, there is a collision no success again the second time slot is empty there's no frame again in the third time slot overlapping is there one is collided with the uh, node 2's frame and both are overlapped with each other again no success and now at this particular time slot you will find that only uh, um, nodes uh, 2 frame is there there's no collision so nodes 2 uh, gets the successful transmission at uh, at the third attempt first second and third attempt it's got the successful transmission again this slot is empty again there's a collision you can see both the uh, frames are overlapping with each other there's empty frame again node a gets success at this this particular in this particular time slot and in node uh, 3 gets success in this particular time slot so uh, that is how a slotted aloha works uh, it, it works as i told you in this particular slide that whenever a node has a frame to send it sends it at the starting of the time slot so uh, what is the benefit of dividing this time axis into time slots and how this uh, slotted aloha uh, improves the efficiency so here you can see uh, slotted aloha has got better efficiency if you compare it with the pure aloha which we discussed in the last lecture that is only because the vulnerable period in pure aloha case is two time slots but uh, the vulnerable period for a node uh, to get a successful transmission in slotted aloha is a single time uh, frame because uh, there is a restriction in slotted aloha is that you whenever a node has a frame to send that particular node can uh, send that particular frame at the start of the uh, frame time so when no node is allowed to uh, start transmitting its frame after this particular point after the starting of the slot then this particular uh, frame will never overlap with the frame which is transmitted in the next time slot so uh, after dividing this time axis into time slots and um, providing a restriction that whenever a node has a frame to send it can send that frame at the start of the next time slot so because of this uh, restriction and dividing this excess into time slots the vulnerable period uh, to get a successful transmission in slotted aloha is only one time slot so when it is only one time slot so the formula would be probability that uh, given node has a success in a slot is p p is the probability of success for a uh, node 1 minus p is the probability of not success for n minus 1 nodes in a single time frame if you compare this particular uh, formula with the uh, pure aloha case here you can see p is the probability of success 1 minus p is the probability of success um, not success for n minus 1 nodes in a single time slot and again 1 minus p probability of not success for again n minus 1 nodes in the next time slots so you can see the vulnerable period for a node to get a successful transmission in pure aloha is two time slots but 
in case of slotted aloha it's only one time slot so that is why we have got this formula p into 1 minus p to power n minus 1 so probability that any node has a successful uh, transmission is n into p 1 minus p power n minus 1 so uh, if you uh, solve this uh, uh, formula maximum efficiency if, if p asterisk that maximizes this this particular probability uh, for for many nodes uh, take limit of np 1 minus p n minus 1 as n goes to infinity gives the maximum efficiency 1.e and uh, i believe you uh, must know the efficiency of uh, pure aloha it was 1 by 2e so it's it's quite simple that efficiency is doubled in this particular case and the efficiency is 37 percent this time out of 100 uh, frames 37 frames will get successful transmission in slotted aloha if you compare it with the pure aloha pure aloha in case of pure aloha out of 100 nodes only 18 frames uh, frames get a successful transmission so uh, pure uh, slotted aloha is far far better than pure aloha in uh, random access protocols so uh, i hope you understand this and in the next uh, lecture we will study about csma which stands for carrier sense multiple access thank you